Something that I've been thinking about, a question that's been coming up a lot all over the world is um, how does that person or do those people not consider the effects of their words or their actions? How can someone not realize that they uh, have done something that's impacted another person or many people's lives? And it's led me down a rabbit hole of thinking about the concept of consideration of others. And now obviously when we're born, we're not born with a guidebook. We're not born with an instruction manual. We muddle along and figure things out based on the people and the things around us. So we're not born necessarily with an inherent practice of taking others into consideration. We're more likely to be born with a, an incredibly self-centered and selfish worldview. We, the way that we relate to ourselves is, is how we're going to be interpreting everything around us. <clears throat> It's what we're going to be imposing on other people, how we think they feel and uh, what we think their motives are. It's all about ourselves. It's all about how we um, process information and what uh, in, within ourselves and um, what motivates us. So that led me to the seemingly obvious conclusion that Considering other people is kind of like a skill that you have to work on, that you first of all have to discover um, and explore and investigate and then deliberately practice. Because it's our tendency, at least for most people, to only see things um, according to our personal bubble of how we see the world, how we see other people, uh, what we believe things um, are like, and all of that. So I was thinking back to when I was younger. I was very selfish. I was very self-involved. Um, I was the most important thing in my life, and everything that I did had the goal of um, to of attaining something that would benefit me and through the years I started shifting out of that perspective because I started thinking more about and questioning more what is it that other people experience what is it that other people feel and think um, what is it like to be in someone else's shoes what is it like to be born into a, a poverty-stricken household? Uh, what's it like to be an animal in a um, in a meat farm, uh, a feedlot, bound to be slaughtered? And the more I ask myself these questions, and the more I reminded myself to really, really consider what is it that other people and other beings may be experiencing and thinking and feeling or maybe motivating them, the less my life became about me and the more my life became about everyone and everything around me. And the more my priorities shifted because it wasn't just about me anymore. I wasn't the most important thing in the world anymore. My goals were not the most important goals in the world anymore, or at least the goals of that were selfish. My goals started changing and being more about um, having an impact that would affect many lives. And I mean, this this whole 
philosophical kind of thread of thought has been coming around of like, well, what what do we actually do to change the world? What do we do to change humanity? Uh, to bring about a change that comes from many people because obviously the only real change that takes place in life is the self-directed change when we are the creators and and the directors of that change uh, it doesn't necessarily we, we can't assume that there's going to be some savior who's going to just come and swoop down and make everything better. We all have to work together to have meaningful impact on the world, uh, to change our society in a meaningful way so that the global and societal issues we face don't just keep getting recreated. The, quest, the question is, what will make people change? What will make people want change? What will make people want to consider another person or animal's life experience? What will make someone, or what will lead someone to really, really, really thinking about what it is they're doing with their lives, what it is they're creating, what are they contributing to, and, and what impact their life is having on others around them? Um, and I don't have a magical answer for this, aside from a very broad answer of education. And I don't mean maths and science, I mean the education of self, the education of asking questions, the education of really um, exploring and um, dis well, discovering and exploring the principle and the skill of considering others, of really, really looking at what is it like to be in someone, to be in someone else's shoes, what is someone else's life really like, what is it that they need, what do they want, what do they fear, what is, what is important to them, um, what's important to everyone, and what can we change in how we live that starts giving the important things to everyone. So, if I could pray, uh, suggest any um, exercise for you to do, it would be to take a few moments every day to ask yourself, what would it be like to be someone else? Pick a person or an animal or a plant or whatever and really, really, really look at what it would mean to be them and set yourself aside and what's important to you aside uh, and look at and hold that being within you and really explore who they are. Uh, and practice standing outside of yourself, practice considering others, practice considering what effect your words may have. If you're about to say something cruel about someone else, consider why you're saying that and what impact that might have on that person, uh, what impact it may have on others. Uh, or if you're about to do something, what impact might that actually have? Have you ever really stopped to consider the ripples, the butterfly effect of everything that we do in our lives. Because everything that we do in our lives is part of our co-creation. It's part of our contribution to the world. So really the question is, what is it that you are contributing to this life, to this planet, to your community? And ask yourself if that's what you want to be contributing. And uh, I think that's about it on the topic. Thanks for watching.